My name is Graham and I'm at Ribby's Music here in Bolton and today I'm going to do a comparison video between the Yamaha B1 and the Kawai K15. Now they're both massively popular pianos, they're both in a modern design, so what that means is they, both, they don't have legs. They're both in an absolutely beautiful polished ebony cabinet and look fantastic. They both have brass finishes, so that means the logos are brass, the hinges are brass, and the pedals are all brass. They both have three pedals. They both have what's called a celeste rail for playing it silently, which basically puts a felt in between the, the hammers and the strings so they play quietly. So they, they, they're ideal for playing later at night as well, or when other people are in the room, but I'll show you that. So let's start with the size. So how big are they? So which do you think is bigger? Well, the V1 is 109 centimetres and the Kawai K15 is 110 centimetres. So, so this one's just slightly taller. So what about the width? How wide are they? Well, this one is 148 centimetres, so that's the Yamaha V1. This is 149 centimetres, so that's the Kawai K15. So that, now, what about the depth? What do you think the depth is? Well, the V1 is at 54 centimetres in depth, and the Kawai K15 is 59 centimetres in depth. Also, the depth here at the top of the Kawai K15 is slightly more than the Yamaha V1. So they're not massively different in size, but they are different in size. What do you get with them? Well, on our website at Rivers Music, you get free home installations anywhere in the UK, ground floor. That's what I was at, absolutely brilliant. But what do you get from the, the manufacturer? Well, you get, with the K15, you get a manual that tells you how to look after it. You get a, a duster, and you get like a, it's like a cloth thing that can go across the keys, like a velvet sticking thing. So you get that. And with the Yamaha one, you get something very similar, basically. You get a cleaning cloth, you get a key cover, and you get a, an instruction manual on how to take care of it. So let's just move those out of the way for now. So what do they sound like? Right, well let's have a listen and what do they feel like? So let's start with the Yamaha V1. So this is the Yamaha V1. I'll just do, I'll do the same piece on each so you can hear the difference. So let's do this one. A gap here. So that gap there, what that does is, well, it allows a little bit more volume, but more what it does is it, it allows uh, extra frequencies to come out. So basically, you get a slightly brighter sound, but you hear more of the harmonics because what happens is when you uh, when you press a note on the piano, uh, a damper is what they're called, taking off the strings. The hammer hits it to allow those strings to make a noise, basically. And if you put the sustain pedal down. What happens then is it takes all the dampers off all the strings. When you hit a string, then other strings vibrate in what they call sympathetic resonance. And it, it gives you lots more harmonics. By owning these up, it lets more of those harmonics out. So let's have a listen to that on board with you. to be. 
which is the Kawhi K15. action. So let's have a listen to what tonal changes you get. So I'm going to throw that pedal up. Let's have a listen. So that's on a G. Do it on a here as well. That's the Yamaha B1, and this is the Kawaii K15. Uh, and don't forget to, uh, you know, if you've liked this video, please like it and share it and tell people to go to our website and get one. And uh, don't forget we do part exchange. So if you do fancy part exchange, we can, you know, let us know what you've got. We might take it off these, that would be good. 
and uh, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos. So thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye.